there's a lot of noise out there about, you know, micromanagement's an evil word and and why. It has a negative connotation it, for a reason. Most mm-hmm. of us have been in a situation where we felt micromanaged and no one really likes the way that feels. Like you think right. of like controlling or nitpicking. Mm-hmm. But I'd like to reframe it in the context of situational leadership. Situational Mm -hmm. leadership, if you're familiar with the concept, Ken Blanchard formulated this 50 plus years ago. And so the the model has been around for a long time. Mm -hmm. The model is not simple. It's not easily, it's not easy to digest, but Mm -hmm. the the four core components are easy to digest. It's Mm -hmm. really like, am I, am I, directing your activity? Am I coaching your activity? Am I supporting your activity? Or am Mm -hmm. I delegating your activity or these Mm -hmm. activities and tasks? So it's really, there's four ways of looking at situational leadership. It's what is required. Let's say, Kenny, I need you, I need you to go project cash flow in this area of our earned income. I need you to project that for the next three months. You're like, okay, I've never done that before. <laughs> but I mean, so my hands off the like how I want to be, which is kind of how I'm more like go because I want to delegate authority. Well, right. that would be irresponsible if you've never done that before. Right. You right. If I just said, go figure it out. It, it, you can mm-hmm. do it. Well, and you're like, great. I have <laughs> no idea how to do what she's asking me to do. <laughs> like that's not, that's not setting you up for success. That's not right. setting me or the organization up for success if I just mm-hmm. completely delegate it because you're in this new role. It's like, well, Kenny, you're over, you're, you, we hired you as a VP of business development. You, you've surely done this. I know that you can do it. Go, go mm-hmm. figure it out. Well, that, so that's the antithesis of micromanaging. But if I said to you, hey, we're going to sit down and I'm going to tell, I'm going to direct you. I'm going to show you how to do this first. From the outside, you could look like, well, Jenny's just doing his job. She's micromanaging something she paid him to do. Well, that's, that is a generalization that's just inaccurate. Right. So I think there's a prevailing thought out there that micromanagement is a bad thing. But I, I would say if we reframe it in the context of situational leadership, there are times when you're coaching mm-hmm. and directing that mm-hmm. it may look a little more like micromanaging because you're closer to the person and the task that mm-hmm. you're delegating, but that's seasonal. It's not forever. Now, if I hire you and I, I show you how to do it, I'm not going to keep doing it for you month after month. That would right. be micromanaging. Why am I paying right. you, right? Yeah. I'm doing it for you. But there, there should be a progression in those quadrants that I mentioned before to go from directing to coaching you to supporting you in doing the work and then ultimately delegating it. 